This is the all new Pro Smoker Pro Classic Cabinet Smoker. Today, I'm gonna show you exactly how to assemble this smoker. And I'm gonna tell you right now, it's one of the easiest and quickest assemblies that I've ever done. But I'm gonna show you how to do it and how to get it done quick. Now let's get started. The new Pro Classic from Pro Smoker. Let's get this thing opened up. Now, one thing I love is when they put the instructions right here on top. There's no digging, no trying to find it. I also always set the top side of the box right next to me because I can use that as a trash can to put all of this excess packaging, just like this, right down into it. The wind's not blowing this stuff all over the place. I've had those problems in the past, plastic bags blowing all over. It keeps everything right here with me, nice and clean. Let's get this thing unpacked. First thing I notice is that beautiful looking cabinet and that this thing is packaged very well. First impression, just looking at this right here, just minimal packaging removed it's probably one of the nicer vertical cabinet smokers that I've seen or cabinet smokers that I've seen so far. Looks like it's got some really nice latches and we'll go through all of this stuff as we go. I'm gonna go get myself a blanket so that I can lay this cabinet down without damaging this surface at all. We'll do that, we'll get it out of this package and get this thing assembled. Now, just to make sure I don't cause any damage, I'm gonna tuck this blanket underneath the smoker here. Then I'm gonna carefully just tip this onto its back. Now I know that there is plenty of stuff down in this cabinet. It's where all of the other parts are gonna be. So I'm gonna start taking these out. And we'll just get this opened up, see what we got in these boxes. We got our wheels here. That's actually the very first step after unpackaging. So I'm gonna set all these carefully right here on the door. Opening up another box that we had inside of the cabinet here. See what we got here in this bowl. Looks like a little dog bowl. We have our meat probe, our chimney cap, and the bowl. We've got four caster wheels. They just screw onto the bottom. They're actually the very first step. We're gonna get these opened up. Now from a quick visual look here, these are actually very nice, but they're also all four the same. So it really doesn't matter which one goes where. Now these screw in there a long way, but that means they're gonna be sturdy. All right, we got one on, let's get the other three. Now that we've got all the wheels on, I'm actually gonna go through and I'm gonna lock all of the wheels so that they don't roll because that's gonna help me stand this up. Just like so. Wow. Check that sucker out. All right, now let's open this door up, show you what the inside looks like. I will say right off the bat, it has a good, nice, thick rubber seal. It's gonna seal this cabinet up very nicely. Now I've never owned one of these Pro Smokers before, and I know this is their 100S, this is their Pro Classic. The smokers here are 100% electric. In fact, the burner in the bottom looks just like the burner that you'd have on an older electric stove with the coil. And that's what's actually gonna be used for a heat source. Nice thing about that is you can go just heat only, just for temperature control. Like if you wanted to hold a brisket for hours or hold food before a party for hours, like Thanksgiving or something like that, you could put it in here, set the temperature to like 150 degrees and get it shut and it's gonna maintain that, which is super, super awesome. But now that we've got this thing opened up, let's move on to the next step. 
Now the next step is gonna be the rack assembly. That's these right here. They attach up here and basically line the left and right side of the cabinet. This is what the shelves are gonna slide into and sit on. It appears that it doesn't matter which side goes where. It looks like these pieces are pretty much universal. Now you can see this right here is just going to slide onto some pre-existing bolts that are inside of the cabinet. So you're just gonna take this just like so. Just like that. We're gonna do the same to the other side. Just like that, that is easy. The next step is to install the six wire racks. Pretty straightforward process here. Just take it, slide it right onto the racks that we just installed. That one's upside down. Wow. Next piece is the drip tray. Now the thing to know is that these two tabs here always go towards the back. That's to allow proper airflow. And it's gonna slide right onto that bottom rack assembly and right up against the back. Next is the sawdust pan. I'm gonna call this the dog bowl. And I'm gonna put it right here on top of the burner where it's supposed to go. The next step is the chimney cap. And that's gonna sit right on top just like so. Now this right here is the Pro Smoker Pro Classic 100S Smokehouse. 100% honest here, this is the easiest assembly that I've ever done. I will say it is more time consuming unpacking everything out of the box and even more time consuming taking off that polyfilm off of the stainless steel. But if you have a nice enough wife who will let you use her $400 Dyson hairdryer, since it's a little cold here, that polyfilm didn't want to come off very easily, but once we started to heat it up with the hairdryer, it came off well, didn't leave much residue behind, but without that, it was kind of a bear to get it off. But now that it's off, this is one beautiful smoker. It's got plenty of space and a ton of potential. Here at Anderson Smoke Show, we're gonna be doing a bunch of cooks on this thing here this fall. I'm gonna show you exactly what this is all about. If you're interested in more videos like this or more videos on this Pro Classic Smoker, then I suggest you check out this one right here.